Hello guys, uh, welcome to Tech Design. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button as well as uh, share my videos. Uh, as a name suggests, uh, to today I will be explaining you how the reference set uh, works and what is actually a reference set. So reference set will come into picture only when you are working on an assembly, uh, not an individual components. So what actually is a reference set is nothing but so you have a different reference set for every each and every components and uh, depending on the setting the reference set you can able to change the orientation of a um, complete assembly so uh, let me explain you how we can work uh, on this as you can see here there is a reference set column which is added if it is not added in your uh, case just right click on this uh, uh, top uh, row and just go to columns and uh, switch on this uh, reference set so you can able to uh, see the reference set here so by default uh, the reference set will be entire part so it depends on your uh, you know uh, customer default which is set in uh, um, graphics preferences so uh, by default there will be one reference set which is set so uh, here as you can see here um, the shaft is uh, in entire part and as well as plate is an entire part so we have a plate which is created and one side it is 30 mm hole and the other side it is uh, 20 mm hole and there are two shafts existing one is uh, 30 mm which uh, whereas uh, another one is 20 mm shaft so uh, in different cases uh, what uh, we need is in the assemblies we need uh, uh, only uh, 30 mm uh, shaft will be available and uh, 20 mm will not be available and in another case only 20 mm is available and the 30 mm will not be available in some cases uh, both are not uh, Mm, available and in some cases both are available so in order to control these things uh, you need to you know create a multiple um, a reference set uh, multiple uh, assemblies in order to make these kind of uh, uh, iterations so in uh, we can do that in uh, reference sets is itself so what we have to do is we have to go to shaft and uh, as you can see here in the inside the shaft there are two shafts created so one is uh, 30 mm and one is uh, you know uh, 20 mm so what i will do is uh, let us go to reference set inside this shaft so here is the reference set and i'm just going to create one reference set with uh, 20 mm and i'm just going to select this 20 mm shaft and close it and i will select i will create a one more reference set with uh, 30 mm and this is my 30 mm shaft and now I will create one more sh one more uh, reference set with both and I will select these both and now uh, already there is a uh, reference set which is called as empty and which is not having any object if you go here you can see the uh, highlighted po highlighted model which is there in that uh, reference set so now uh, now we can save this model and we can go to the assembly so this is our assembly and for this assembly the entire part is the uh, reference set which is set suppose in case if you want to um, make an assembly with only 20 mm shaft you can just right click on this replace uh, reference set and you can select 20 mm as you can see when you select a 20 mm as a reference set only 20 mm shaft is available in this assembly and uh, in similar way we can change it to 30 mm or else you can change it to both in both uh, reference set we have uh, both uh, shafts over here and if you want to make it as an empty you can just make it as an empty and you can uh, save this model this is how we can use this uh, reference set it is very useful when you are working on uh, huge assemblies and you have uh, multiple options and multiple controls on this reference set so this is a simple example on which uh, I'd explained you uh, so let us go to this uh, motor assembly as you can see here and this is a body and we have a cover here so inside the cover i have put two covers so these are the different covers and one cover is at a opened position and one cover is at a closed position so um, what i have to do is i have to control these two uh, you know iterations by open and uh, closed assemblies using a reference set so in that case what i can do is i'll just go inside this cover one and here i uh, will go to you know uh, format and reference set where i will create a reference set which is in open position and in open position what i will do is i'll just remove the both uh, 
covers and I'll just add the open cover and now what I'll do is I'll just again go to reference it and now I'll create one more with a closed one and let me remove both the reference sets and this is the closed condition and cl close now let me save this uh, cover one and now we can go to the motor assembly and now here we can be able to control open and close with the changing the reference set if you go to reference set and if it is closed and closed cover will be available with our assembly and if you change it to an open so now it is opened so this is how we can work with our reference set guys please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button as well as share my videos and join my community thank you guys